Hello, Buckle Up Bones here on the campaign, London to Paris. Hello everybody, our first order of the day is to improve our traffic problem here. We're still putting in our train stations, but uh, I think the problem foremost is there's too many intersections. And uh, that's where the traffic is getting hold, held up. So let's improve this first. Okay, I've taken out uh, all the intersections that are holding up the traffic and changed over to ownership of the road so that game can't make any more intersections. So we are still up to adding a railway station. Let's do that. We're going to put in an underground station pause now so at form length let's make it about 240 yeah something like that do we need to make it longer no we'll, we'll start with that And we'll put it under our road in the center of town for maximum catchment. Somewhere there. What I'm trying to do is get the end of the station onto the end of this uh, two buildings here. The delete is upstairs. Downstairs, upstairs. So we put them on the end here. Like that. And we'll do the same down this end. Pretty hard to tell what's going on. Well, we might leave that one there. Yeah, we might put it in the corner here, actually. Like there. Okay. Ah, uh, there's something we forgot to do. That is to lower it a little bit. Five points.
I'm gonna put one right on the corner here. Nope, didn't uh, connect. Still didn't connect. Gonna put one here. That looks good. Now let's put one in barking. Yeah, right here in the uh, intersection of all the three uh, sectors. Good. Okay, let's put one in Kensington. Okay, all looking good. Now we uh, connect those stations. like that. Now we're going to have a uh, uh, tracks coming out here to join on to the main trunk line which will be right through here, something like that. Maybe not like that. Okay, let's install the entry to the underground.
Oh, that's a bit tight. Okay, now let's connect uh, Barking to London. like there's a dip there see if we can uh, sort that out just a little bit that looks better now we should uh, should we put a train on yeah I think we will so new line from this from London to Barking. We're actually uh, eventually going to go a loop around to Southwark and um, Kensington. But for now, we'll just go from London to Barking, back to London. We need some crossovers. We'll put them in here. Let's get a train on that. But for now, we're going to put in a uh, train depot, a temporary one. I don't quite know where we're going to build our full station yet. And we'll want to um, have a, like a big complex. Okay, let's uh, add a train. And we want uh, the cheapest one we can get a hold of which is probably this one and we can't afford it yet so let's run it up and we got enough to uh, buy ourselves a train which will be this is the cheapest one that we got or no this guy is M30 diesel electric We're going to go electric. Okay, let's see this guy coming out of the box.
pick up passengers already. That's working. Now we install a, another underground station in Southwark. Now we uh, we are going to come out above ground along here, so we want some tunnel entries and a bridge, and we we'll connect those lines up. And yes, this end of the line is going under the Thames. That looks pretty good. Let's check that. Okay. Now, to set up uh, our line, readjust our line. Let's pause. Now we should be going around in a circle. So now we want a train to go back the other way. So new line. Kensington here and then parking oh look how many passengers we got on our first line we need bigger better trains Okay, I've added in a few more trains on these underground lines.
and making a reasonable amount of profit. But it uh, stands to reason that uh, these lines are going to start losing money. I will let them run for just a little bit longer before we decide to make some changes. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, go to Paris now and set up a railway in Paris. But no ordinary railway. We are going to add in a overhead monorail. So, where should we put this? First we want to height off the ground. Uh, we've got different styles. Two tracks, no, yeah, two tracks, two tracks on the inside, or two tracks on the outside. I think we go two tracks on the inside. So where should we put it? Somewhere with good catchment in the center somewhere. Yeah, I think uh, maybe down this end. Let's try it. And, uh, uh, break up those buildings. Now we want to connect over here. Now uh, let's connect up the tracks. That looks uh, pretty level. Okay. Hmm, that's annoying. Let's uh, put in our pylons now. Okay, it looks uh, okay. So far. Now we need to put in a, uh, a train depot somewhere. Okay, let's uh, create a new line. So we're going to have uh, one elevated train on one track and another elevated train on the other track rather than have them cross over. I think that's how we'll do it. I think we need uh, 10 million. 
yeah, we need uh, 10 million for that. So we'll just have to wait until we get the funds. You know what, we could uh, probably put another station in here. Almost there. There we go. Bye. We're definitely going to watch this one come out of the box. to adjust our line actually. And we have our first passenger. Now it's uh, quite modern looking, kind of out of place for a 1970, sort of. That's a nice little view there. Very quiet, not like the uh, diesel chains, trains.
Okay, I'm actually quite happy about that, about this. It looks very nice. Doesn't look too far out of place. Okay. Um, London has the underground and Paris has the monorail. Uh, this part of uh, the campaign is, is, uh, is done. We are still at the very early stages of uh, building up everything. But it is a beginning.